Welcome back to Soul Stained Ink. My name is Beth and I am here out in the middle of the country to talk to you for just a minute about the audiobook I finished listening to this morning. Um, I did not really include it in my Sunday Goals video or my weekend reads because I had not decided to start listening to it until I was on the road back home yesterday afternoon and I listen to audiobooks at one and a half to two times the normal speed. So this book I listened to at like 1.6 speed, I believe, and managed to finish it off this morning on the way to take my choir girls to the honor choir that they're in today. And then the directors don't really have anything scheduled for them for a couple of hours. So I thought I'd come out here where the sun is bright and there's not anybody that's going to stare at me while I talk to you just a little bit about Neil Gaiman's The Ocean at the End of the Lane. Now this book is one that had kind of polarizing reviews. I never really heard anybody talk about it uh, in kind of a meh way. It was either they hated it or they loved it. And I was a little bit trepidatious about picking it up, but I found the audiobook and it was narrated by Neil Gaiman and I love his voice so I thought I'd give it a go and I wound up giving this book five stars. Now it's probably more like a 4.5 read for me but Goodreads doesn't give you half star options so five stars it is. There were a couple of characters I felt like could have used more fleshing out. I even felt like the villain herself could have used a little bit more information. However, I liked the book as a whole and the story kind of made up for all of the things that I felt like could have been done differently. And I don't know whether that was because it was an audiobook and narrated by Neil Gaiman, uh, who knows exactly how he meant to phrase things, and so that could have been part of it. If I read it in print at some point, it might go down, but I doubt it. The story itself felt very magical for me, and I enjoyed it immensely. Um, now, if you don't know about the story, it is, for the bulk of the book, the story of a seven-year-old and a couple of days in his life that were kind of overtaken by an ancient being that is just trying to give everybody what they want, but she causes a whole bunch of trouble in the process and is kind of a mini Bobini. Um, when he first meets her, she looks like an old tattered canvas tent, and then she comes back into his world and winds up being his nanny, who is beautiful, but he can see through her, and so she's really mean to him. And she just does a whole lot of stuff that frightens him, and as a seven-year-old boy, he's not sure how to deal with it. He's kind of a little bookworm, a self-described wimp. He doesn't think that he can be brave at all, but he manages to save his family from this being with the help of his friend who lives at the end of the lake. And it's bordering somewhere between magical realism and full-on fantasy, but one of the things I love about Neil Gaiman is that he is able to tread that line and make you feel like even though you know that this is something that couldn't really happen or probably couldn't really happen in our world, it still feels like it could while you're in the story. And that's one of the main reasons I gave it five stars. So I am going to wrap it up right there. I'm not going to talk too much more about this book. It's been out there for a while. So if you have read it, please let me know what you thought of it down below. And I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye.